Hey guys, welcome to I Am Labs. I am Prasun Das, and I am going to teach about post and gate methods in PHP forms. So, what are PHP forms? They are nothing, just a simple HTML form with some connected PHP codes. That's it. So, before doing anything, let's jump right into the code. So, since we are doing PHP, so we have to start with SAM. And start with Apache server and MySQL server. No, we don't. We don't need any MySQL servers. No. I have created this form of PHP in our htdocs PHP folder since we are doing everything in XAM, so we have to keep everything in our htdocs folder. So coming to the slash home post not HTML before explaining anything I'll explain you the code that is for the get request this is for the post for that yeah this is our simple HTML form with a name of input type text and a email of input type text with a action which gives us to the post.php and with a method of the post and in post what we are doing we are posting the name and email so what does it do if we Input everything here and submit. We we get our output in the next, page, but nothing comes in the URL. But if we go to the get dot php, we have the same thing in the code that comes here as get dot form get there's our code and we have the same thing we have the simple input form of name and email of type text and email with the action get dot php and by default our html form has a method of get so i haven't written any get request and in get.php we are having just a get request which equals our name and the email address is equals our email that's it so inputting the details we get our sensitive information in the url so that's the difference between get, get and post method the post method is generally used for filtering out the results of Google search so that we can share the URL and get the filter search from the URL. But remember, never use get request while sharing sensitive information such as password or credit card details. So that's all for get and post method in PHP. See you in the next lecture.